What's up guys? Today we're looking at the Vava 4K Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector. Before we get into the video, if you are new to the channel and are into home theater, watching 4K or 3D movies, please be sure to like and subscribe. I've had the Vava for about a year now, so I've been able to really explore everything it has to offer. It's been some time since its original launch, so we will also be talking about some of the latest features and updates that are available for the Vava later in this video. This is an ultra short throw projector meaning you can place it inches away from your screen or wall. With the Vava, you can project an image anywhere between 80 and an amazing 150 inches. The Vava 4K is a single chip DLP projector that uses ALPD 3.0 laser technology. Now this is not a native 4K projector, but uses pixel shifting to achieve its 4K image. This does have HDR10 support. The Vava boasts 2500 ANSI lumens from a 6000 lumen light source to produce a bright image. On the back, it has three HDMI ports, USB, optical, and an ethernet port. Additionally, the Vava has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.2 connectivity for audio input and output. It does have an Android built-in interface, but I recommend Apple TV, Roku, Nvidia Shield, Chromecast, or Fire Stick in their 4K formats. For audio, the Vava has built-in 60-watt Harman Kardon speakers. Now, I can't really comment on the audio quality, as I have the projector hooked up to a Nakamichi 9.4.2 Atmos system. What makes this and any other USD projector great is that you don't have to ceiling mount the projector, which means you can save time and money on professional setup. Additionally, you don't have to worry about friends or family members stepping in front of the image light source, blocking the movie. An ALR screen is recommended for these type of projectors for daytime viewing. For those who are not familiar, ALR stands for Ambient Light Rejecting, meaning the screen will display a clear image at day or in a well-lit environment. Let's get into the image quality, and remember that later in this video, we will be going over some of the latest features and updates of the Vava. So for image, the source I will be using is the Apple 4K TV and projecting the image on XY's 150 inch PET grid screen. It is important to note that though this screen does have some ALR qualities, this screen is best for night or blackout viewing. If you are interested in some of the specifics of XY screens, please check my other videos that I'll be uploading soon. Image quality is amazing. However, there are some adjustments you will have to make out of the box to get the best display. You can adjust the image parameters in the menu options. I will leave my image parameter settings in the description below, which in my opinion produced a high visual quality for this projector. If you have your own recommended image settings, please leave it in the comment section below. The Vava does display 8 million pixels on the screen for 4K, but this is achieved through pixel shifting, so you will not get as sharp of an image as native 4K. To get the best color accuracy, the Vava will require some adjustments in the RGB settings. Black levels are very good, especially since the Vava produces such a bright image compared to some of its competitors. However, this is not going to compete with what you would find on some of your highest level TVs like an OLED for example. Unless you have an ALR screen, I wouldn't recommend watching with the lights on or curtains open, as this will make the image look washed out. Now let's talk about some of the latest features and updates that are available for the Vava. 
I would say my favorite surprise update is that of 3D. This brings movie experiences to a whole other level for home theater entertainment. I really must give the team at Vava credit for adding this feature to their projector post-production. An additional update that you will find in the Vava is that it will temporarily display the resolution of the media source in the upper left corner of the display. This is great for confirming image quality. I've also noticed that some of the subtle fan noise has been reduced. I believe that the team at Vava was working on an update that reduced how aggressive the fan would work. I cannot confirm to what extent, but I remember the fan producing more background noise before. Although, the subtle noise was never enough to distract from the movie. In summary, the experience of watching 4K movies on the Vava is amazing. However, if you are really into getting the highest image quality and sharpness from 4K media and the deepest black levels, you may want to look at a high-end TV like an OLED. But I must say, it is really hard to compete with the image size and experience of watching a 4K movie at this level. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like and subscribe.